motion is tied to the need for the Senate to in, uh, for the Senate intervention on the recent it is alert Nigeria 1.2 billion dollar debt crisis. The Senate notes that it is alert Nigeria, Nigeria telecommunication company operating in Nigeria has in recent time been in the public eye over its 1.2 billion loan crisis. Understand that the syndicated loan was acquired in 2013 as a medium-term seven-year facility to fund expansion of the network from a consortium of 13 banks in Nigeria. Note that it is a large ownership comprises of three stakeholders, the United Arab Emirates Sovereign Wealth Fund through the Mumbadala Development Company, Abu Dhabi, 45%. Emirates Telecommunication Group Company, 40%, and my Saint, 15% through Emerging Market Telecommunication Services. Note that as of 2016, the company has started defaulting on its $1.2 billion loan obligation, leading to a few bailouts from its parent company in Abu Dhabi. Understand that about 42% of the loan has been repaid, remaining an outstanding debt of $696 million, representing 58% of its capital, which it is allowed as fails to service since 2016. Understand that since this year, the bank has been moving to take over the telecommunication company in order to recover their funds. Note that the Nigerian Telecommunication and Central Bank of Nigeria have intervened and raised issue of regulatory compliance in trying to prevent a takeover by the banks, but the intervention has failed to produce an agreement on the debt restructuring. Observe that all UAE shareholders of It is Alert Nigeria, including the state-owned investment fund Mubadala, had exited the company coupled with the resignation of top key management officers of the company. The Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Matthew Wilshire, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Wale Obasun Loye, Director and the Third Shareholder and Partner, Mr. Akin Belu Osagi. Regret that although it should ordinarily not be the duty of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to wade into the individual debt crisis of the private sector businesses, but the Senate is convinced that if this situation is not properly handled, it will have a negative implication for the Nigerian business environment and on foreign investment in Nigeria in general. Regret that a loan of this magnitude has the capacity of set, setting off another banking crisis in Nigeria, with banks looking for bailout funds once again. Believe that the Nigerian business environment must be protected and insulated from all forms of fraudulent dealing in order to ad advance the government drive towards promotion of genuine investment in Nigeria. Regret that about 4,000 jobs are at stake as a result of this suspicious dealing. Note that the decision of the core investors to pull out of Nigeria raised issue of suspicion on the intent of a company in obtaining loan facility defaulting and pulling out of the country, hoping that their shares will be used to write off the debts. Aware of the allegation that the loan has been diverted to other uses not related to the business for which the, lo the huge loan was obtained, as this were no, there were no evidence of what the company did with the loans. Accordingly resolved, one, mandate the Committee on Bank Banking, communication, capital market, and national security, national security and intelligence to investigate the management and utilization of the 1.2 billion loan facility obtained from the 13 banks. Two, mandate the above joint committee to make recommendation on ways the Nigerian financial governance structure can be strengthened by legislation to prevent any future similar reoccurrence.
and three. Three, all the relevant financial intelligence agencies of Nigerian federal government to investigate the management of Etisala Nigeria and hold the defaulting, defaulting parties accountable for their actions. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, this is one motion that I have brought before the Senate this morning for us to investigate into the activities of what led to this 1.2 billion naira loan that has dollars which has been declared bad as far as Nigeria is concerned. It was no longer news that about a couple of months away ago, it is a lot Nigeria was in a deep problem that led to top management of the company resigning and exiting this country without any recourse back to the workers that are engaged in that company and even investment that has been put together by the taxpayers' money in Nigeria. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, I believe the motion is too explicit that all issues that have been raised in the body of the motion has spelled out what and what we should be looking at as a Senate that goes beyond this corporate entity called Nigeria, it is a lot Nigeria. You will re recently know that there is nothing like it is a lot now. They are referred to as the Nine Mobile, which is the coming together of this bank to take over. But what is uh, what about the future of the workers that are engaged by the it is a lot Nigeria? I want this Senate to please look at this dispassionately. Let us look and unravel how this 1.2 billion dollars has been applied. Mr. President, the still I so move. Senator Barrett.